What's going on guys? Look, it's been completely, completely dry as a bone here. Things were starting to just not look good at all. And so we were supposed to get rain last night overnight. Didn't happen. Got up this morning, went and mowed a couple commercial properties and it started raining. Now it looks like we're gonna get rain for at least the next couple of hours. Nice, just nice rain, no torrential downpour, just nice rain. And so uh, we needed it horribly bad. So with that being said, uh, when it does happen to dry out, what do you do? I mean, you're skipping lawns. Uh, what are you doing? Are you out hustling and, and telling your clients, hey, we can trim your low hanging branches. Hey, I see your mulch needs replenished. Hey, I see your bushes need trimmed. Are you doing the extra work? See, I like, me personally, I like, because I know it happens. Every summer, I know it's gonna happen. I know we're gonna get uh, dry spells. And so what I like doing is I like going through and I like, you know, making a list of all my clients, what they need, you know, to where when it does get slow, then I message them and I go, hey, I noticed you need this. And that keeps me busy for, for another week, you know, keeps me busy. And uh, so <clears throat> that's what I personally like doing. Uh, I know a lot of companies like doing, you know, uh, to where they've already done it. So they just, they're out of work, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, how's it work for you? You know, let me know. It's been pretty crazy. I messed my uh, Ferris mower up. I, I unleveled the deck on that thing crazily. So I came over, a, it was like a dip and just a small little dip and then it comes back up. Well, I come down and I come back up and when the right wheel came down in that dip, it hammered, and I mean hammered the deck straight down to the ground on the top of this little hill and the right blade dug about two inches deep into the ground bent the blade i mean it just oh i thought i bent something um luckily it was just the deck was totally somehow or another unlevel to all get out i don't know how that happened um uh, i don't know but they got it fixed and uh, I'm back up and running. Hallelujah on that. And uh, seems to be cutting great, fabulous. I watered my, my lawn yesterday afternoon. And uh, so it's, you know, pretty green. You can tell most of the other stuff is, you know, dying out. But, I mean, you can tell especially their lawn over there uh, dying. But, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. That's what happens. So. Got the, got the Ferris back, once again, cutting fabulous. Uh, oh, I got lots of, it's dark in here. I didn't turn on all my lights, but uh, we got lots of cool stuff for you. We got the new Milwaukee Power Brush, rubber paddle, um, and the brush cutter attachment for the PAS system. And uh, yeah, pretty stoked to try this stuff out. So, you know, have a review for that coming for you soon. Uh, Echo Chainsaw, got a, got a thing coming about that for you once again soon. Um, lots of things actually coming up. And so that is what's going on in my life right now. Uh, lots of rain, but the rain's done. I got to get tires. Oh, I got new tires for the trailer. Uh, tires, not rims. Uh, so I got new tires for the trailer. Uh, the truck needs new tires horribly bad. So uh, I gotta get tires for it eventually. Um, I need to wash, which the rain helped wash the trailer, uh, but I need to wash the trailer. I need to wash my equipment. Uh, I mean, it was, it's been absolutely craziness lately. Craziness, but that's part of it, right? A lot of people are burned out right now. This is the time of the season where people start getting burned out. Why? Because, well, it's hot, okay? It's, it's 100 degrees, uh, heat, uh, hardly any wind most days, and you're out there hustling, bustling, 
and uh, it gets it gets to you. You know, it gets tiresome. It gets tiresome, and so a lot of people are. This is the time of the year that a lot of people start getting wore out. Don't let it get to you. Push through it, one property at a time. If you have to, if you're if you're solo, uh, the best thing I have found is just split your properties up into days to where you you only mow till 11 or 12, you know? Uh, start early, mow till 11 or 12, and then just take the rest of the day off when it's the hottest. Start early the next morning, do the same thing. You know, work five or six hours a day and just spread the properties out. And uh, that will keep you from getting as, as you know, uh, loaded up, I guess, or burned out, but, you don't have to worry about, you know, staying out all day. And by the time you're done, you're just, oh, you, you know, you're out there for 8, 10, 12 hours. Um, and that, that's why you're getting burned out, you know. So just spread some stuff out. If you can, if you can, spread it out. Work mornings as much as you can. And uh, because let me tell you, you start working all day. Once you start working all day, that second day, third day, you know, you start getting into weeks of doing it, you start getting burned out. It's that simple. I mean, it, it happens to the best of us. And, uh, but remember what you're doing it for, okay? Remember why you're doing it. Don't quit, don't give up, and uh, just do your thing, you know? Spread it out. Clients understand. So uh, you've got this, anyway. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. Just wanted to update y'all on the pretty rain that we got going on. And, uh, so yeah, everybody have a good one. I will we'll see y'all soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later.